National Medal of Science II, Gerald Meinwald, Cornell University, for applying chemical principles and techniques to studies of plant and insect defense and communication, and for his seminal role in establishing chemical ecology as a core discipline important to agriculture, forestry, medicine, and environmental science. I came to Cornell, or back to Cornell, uh, after Jerry and Tom had started this, and uh, I applied mass spectrometry to problems, well, first in industry, and so it was very hard to attract the attention of academics, but suddenly here was a whole new field that was using mass spectrometry in ways that were absolutely fascinating. And well, uh, finally I felt like an honest scientist. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, um, there's no question that uh, he, he was essentially unique uh, in my mind, uh, an amazing role model for anyone interested in uh, the chemical aspects of chemical ecology. He was, uh, um, had a brilliant mind. Uh, his uh, experimental techniques in synthesis and analysis were always elegant. Uh, there was a, an artistic component to them that was, was often lacking in, in chemical research. He was unassuming, uh, very approachable, so students found it easy to ask him questions, patient. I have seen him in other contexts, uh, especially when he would uh, be playing musical instruments with Tom Eisner, often Jerry on the flute and uh, Tom on the piano, um, at meetings or in some, at some other occasion, usually uh, sometimes here at Cornell. Uh, he was a very devoted musician. Um, I heard him give a, an absolutely amazing lecture um, three years ago, I think it was, at the uh, chemically college chemical ecology meetings in Urbana, Illinois, uh, when he gave a major lecture on basically on chemical ecology and where it's going, where it's come from, starting with the formation of the elements in the stars of the universe and um, just in a very broad strokes uh, talked about some of the inevitabilities of, um, of uh, chemical evolution. <laughs> 